morning all. I Rapstein and here we are on July 17th, Monday, 2023. I'm not in the uh, pictures today. I am in beautiful Montana and it is gorgeous here, uh, but doing my work, keeping up with everything and that's my intent to do it as much as I can for you while I'm here. We did have some events, so maybe what we should do is go look at the news and then come right back here. We have the New York Fed Empire Manufacturing Survey headline. You can see how it came out up 1.1% versus the decline uh, that it was expected to be. Uh, it's not as good as the prior month, but it's better than what was expected. Uh, employment index, a bit of an improvement. New orders, a little bit of an improvement. Prices received, not as good. And prices paid, uh, a little bit there too. We're pulling out of inventory, but a lot of shipments aren't going out. We have the Napa crash, uh, uh, crush report today, not crash, crush report. So I'd pay attention to that. That comes out at 11 o'clock. And then in grain, Russia did not extend the Ukraine deal. They uh, Just before it expired, they said they are not going to go ahead with it. So that kicked up the grains. But I'll tell you, if you were to close lower in the corn and beans today, it'd be a statement that it doesn't matter. The market goes back to what it was, so I've been looking at that. Here's the Chinese data. They expected it up 6.9% GDP at 6.3, and this is not good. They are they are looking at a lot of problems through here. January through June GDP is up 5% on the year. I've already seen in that where Goldman and other companies are saying it'll be under 5%, so I'd pay attention to that. LVMH got hit on that pretty hard. Everything coming out of uh, China that you were counting for good energies, they're getting hit as well. And we see that as we look at this right here. You can see on the energy markets, they're all down on the day. When we take a look at the U.S. stock market, ah, we're going to be looking at earnings more than we are anything else. In the grain market, uh, you've given up in the corn already $0.08 cents off the high. Beans are still near the high. We'll see what that means for it. And uh, I'm just looking for the metal markets to be drifting here. Copper's under pressure because without Chinese growth, $4 copper that you got up and very close to just seems very high. But one of the things that you're looking at, if you go through these charts like I did with my subscriber video early in the morning, take a look where these Bollinger Bands came in and you will see the importance of the resistance points these markets are hitting. It's almost classic playing those back and forth. Take a look at this. I'm Irapsy and see you in a bit.